Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be doing a how-to video on jailbreaking your iPhone 4S. The Chronic Dev, Dev Team released their software yesterday, the AppSynth 0.2, and it was at first for the Mac operating system, but today they released the Windows version, also 0.2. And you can download all this off their website, the greenpoison.com. So what's so different about this jailbreak versus the previous ones is that this is an untethered jailbreak. So what this means is that if you're out somewhere, you need to shut down your phone and boot it back up, you could. You don't need a computer nearby just to boot up your phone. And so what I did to prepare for this is I first updated my iPhone 4S to 5.0.1 firmware. I figured since the highest version of support is 5.0.1, I might as well grade to it first. Next is I removed the passcode lock just in case it, um, I want the upgrade process, the jailbreak process to go as seamless as possible, so I might as well remove my passcode lock now. I can always put it back on later on. And next, I went to the Green Poison website and downloaded Absinthe. I'll have the link to their website below. Here's the Green Poison website. And on their website, if you just scroll to the right hand side, you'll see the jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 and they have the two links the absent for Windows and also the absent for Mac so what I did first was I just downloaded it to one of my folders on my desktop on my computer and now I'm just going to extract it so here's the extracted version here's one executable and there's a data folder. Inside the data folder it contains the code for each of the, the firmwares for whether it's iOS on the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2. First I make sure that my iPhone 4S has been plugged in. Next I run this application, the AppSync. Your Windows computer might ask you if it's okay to let it download content from the web. I just say yes and here's the software. If you're running this on a computer that does not have iTunes, this jailbreak button here will be grayed out and you will not be able to click it. So this is very straightforward. Just click on this button right now. Jailbreak, because it's already detected that you, you have, I have the iPhone 4S running 5.0.1. And while this is going on, you can see on my iPhone, the sync button has been activated. Even though your iPhone is plugged in, you might want to run this when your iPhone is either fully charged or at least 50% charged. So as it progresses, you'll see that on your iPhone, it'll say restore in progress. It's fine. You just let the absence software do its thing. And as it progresses, you, as you can see, the dial is just waiting, spinning. Now the Apple logo came back up. Overall, at this point, it took about almost four minutes to reach this point. Now my device has just finished booting. The device will reboot by itself. During this process, just remember, do not unplug your cable, do not do anything, do not shut down your phone, do not shut down your, your computer. 
just leave everything alone once you click on the jailbreak button. At this point, the progress meter has reached the end. So the instructions on the screen just says unlock the screen, unlock your phone and tap the jailbreak icon. So I, I slide unlock the phone. In here, I see a, a new icon on my iPhone called Absinthe. I'll just tap this. And once you tap it, your iPhone re will reboot. Then on the screen, the Absinthe software will just return back to its default, where it asks you to plug in the iPhone 4. Yes. I'm going to try to slide unlock again. Now, I have Cydia. Once you have Cydia on your iPhone, your iPhone has been successfully jailbroken. It took about 4 minutes for Cydia to load. This could be just because everyone's trying to load the Cydia packages right now. So later on, I would expect the performance to improve. Overall, from start to finish, I say the whole process took about 15 minutes. It was very simple, it was just a click of a button. And now I can just purchase other apps. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button below. Thanks for watching Opera Hamster. If any questions, comments, suggestions, send to me. Thanks.